Sister Grace experience, I was in the world thinking that I was a Christian lady, I was a church goer, I thought that was all it was, thanks to a testimony of a young sister that I was touched, there was this little girl that was transported to the place of torment, in the cell of women that wear fake hair, wig, weaver, earring, and necklace, when I went back home, I was alone in my room when I heard the Lord telling me, now since you heard the testimony, you gonna take off these earring, but I said no, what I'm wearing are just a little earring, I can't take them off, but I hear the voice still pressing me and telling me to take it off, at the time I was alone in my room as the children had gone to school, my heart was filled with sadness and I started to cry, I said but what's wrong with me, the Spirit of God continued to press me to take off the earrings, I said okay I'm going to take them off, when I removed the earring, the following day in the morning around 10, I said now I must pray, I enter my living room and I knelt down to pray, I said, Lord Jesus, how to do to please you, what am I supposed to do to please you, if this little girl saw all these things, then how can I live pleasing you, suddenly I saw a screen that appeared before me, and in this screen it was written 1 Timothy, later I came to understand that the Lord wanted to talk to me about getting rid of worldly adornment, the following week I was about to go to church, when I went to get my necklace in the bag where I put them, I felt someone behind me, that was telling me, my daughter, do not touch these things, I wonder who is behind me talking like this, I said to this voice, how can you tell me not to touch these necklace, I bought these necklaces and chains with a lot of money, I heard the voice telling me, you have asked me what to do to please me, now listen to what I am telling you, get these chains and necklace out and throw them away, I said alright, immediately I took the bag of necklace and I went out of the house to throw them in the bin, men and women in my neighborhood were stunned, and they asked me why, I told them the Lord Jesus asked me to throw them away if I want to please him, I think I must obey his voice, that day I threw my bag of necklace in the bin, the voice of the Lord was still by my side, few days later he told me you asked me how to please me now you gonna get rid of your lady pants, I said what's wrong with lady pant, since the voice of the Lord was pressing me I was able to get rid of my pant, it was not easy, the Lord was pressing, I saw that when I wear sleeveless shirt that expose armpit, I was not comfortable, I lacked peace and finally I got rid of them, on Sunday when I was about to go to church, I said to myself, I have removed necklace and I threw away my pants, at least I need make up, immediately I heard the Spirit of God that was always by my side, I did not know that it was the Holy Spirit, he told me don't touch that box of make up, you wanna paint your face, you think that I did not make you beautiful, and you think that your natural beauty is not enough, I said what kind of voice is this? Do you mean I have to throw this box of makeup that I bought not long ago, since the voice insisted in three consecutive occasion, I finally decided to throw away my makeup kit, immediately after separating from worldly adornment, I started to experience visitation, I saw that I was in a vision where I was half naked wearing a loin cloth, suddenly the sky became dark and somber, when I lifted up my eyes, I saw that the world has changed and got dark, and suddenly, I heard the explosive voice of the trumpet, it was a tremendous blast very powerful, I said God, what is the blast and where does it come from, I asked my neighbor, can you hear the trumpet that is roaring, he said this cannot be what we are thinking, it must be a joke, someone is surely fooling us, when suddenly the trumpet of God blasted for the second time, it was intense, my cousin told me, this is serious and scary, when we looked to the sky we saw the stars that were scintillating, the rapture was happening, quickly I noticed that the sky had become crystal like glass, and I was able to see the, the angels and the kingdom of heaven, back then I had no understanding of the rapture of the church, yet what was happening was the rapture of the church, and the elect were being taken from the earth, I was left I behind, I could not understand what was happening, nevertheless, I knew that something was happening in the sky, suddenly I heard a melody in an unknown language in heaven, when I look I saw that there was a celebration like a wedding in the kingdom of heaven, I saw many swimming pool with crystal water, and the saint that were rapture were washing the crystal clear water as they got in the eternal kingdom to attend the lamb supper, 
I saw the heavenly world that had a freshness indescribable, though the sky was blue and beautiful beyond description in heaven, I saw angels moving in the celestial paradise they were waving their wing around these poor, I had the impression the redeemed souls were being served by the angel of the Lord who had become their servant, I was in wonder and admiration, I said is this beautiful land of glory the kingdom of God, if that is the case I am going there at all cost, I said to my mother that was by my side, are you seeing this it's beautiful land of glory, but my mother could not see this, when I woke up, I said Lord you are showing me this, but what can I do to be ready in order to join you in that land of joy so beautiful, when I woke up I was troubled, I heard the spirit of God telling me, you have missed the rapture in this vision, and you have failed to rise, an apostle told me you got to examine your life, I cried all day from morning to night, it was then the Lord began to work in my life teaching me how to speak, how to react and to behave, at the same time I was feeling consuming fire of the spirit in my heart and soul, and I felt like shouting the gospel of Christ in the street because of the fire of the spirit in my soul, one day I went out to do shopping with high heels, when I return home I had a lot of pain and when my feet were in pain, the spirit of God spoke and told me you will get rid of this shoes, I obeyed and got rid of high heels that I had, I was with a sister, when I lifted my eyes, I saw that the cloud in the sky have turned to crowns, I asked my sister are you seeing this, it's like the crown was descending and was suspended between the heaven and the earth, I wanted to jump to grab them, these crown was shining and scintillating, the spirit said observe the crown and its composition, when I look at these crowns I saw angels preparing, they were busy working for the preparation of the celebration of the lamb supper, I was watching these movement of the angels in the crown, when these crowns disappeared, I saw three men in the sky they were dressed in bright and pure white, I saw the one in the middle whose eyes has become like flames of fire, he looked at the earth and he said no, when he said no it was like a roar, I felt like the earth was shaken when he spoke, he said three times, come out of the world, the world offer many things, but we must come out of it, the world is passing with with its pleasure, when I saw this, I was still wearing wig and weaving my hair, with many pack of very long hair, when I went to the salon I required the lady to weave my hair with wig, I did my hair and it was beautiful and a lot, but a week later, I saw something terrible in my dream. I saw that I was like a mad woman, I was covered with a tissue that was torn for I was like crazy, running all over the place, I saw that my hair was like that of raster men, but it was covered with countless ants, they were countless of them in my wig, I was crying to people in the street to help me take away these ants, people were looking and watching without helping, yet I was shouting, since no one was willing to help me, I called the fire of God on these ants, but it did not work. I said Lord save me, I put fire on these ant, but nothing happened, I was so overwhelmed that I shouted the blood of Jesus Christ, immediately these ant disappear in an instant, I woke up troubled in panic, I said Lord what are you trying to show me, the spirit of God told me you are stubborn, this is the third time I am telling you to remove these wig and weaver, but you don't listen, I said Lord please have mercy, quickly I went to the saloon I told the hairdresser to remove the weaver, I came to understand that wig and weaver that I liked so much was evil, including all the makeup that I like, it is after ridding myself from these adornment that the purification and sanctification journey began with the Holy Spirit, not with the pastor but the Holy Spirit himself, back then in my church they did not talk about worldly adornment, I was alone with the Spirit of God that was teaching me everything, telling me don't go there don't say this. He was guiding me and I was under his direction, in the past I could not live without weaving and wig, I was uncomfortable, but now I am delivered, the Lord began with me by dealing with the sanctification of the body, and when I was delivered from worldly adornment my spiritual life changed dramatically, in 2018 I heard a noise a reverberation in the sky, when I looked I saw that the heaven was separated in two, then I saw a figure in the sky that had a scintillating crown on his head, I saw him from the chest to the head, and he was looking down to the earth with a sad look, I wonder who is this man and why is he so sad, the man continued to watch the people of the earth with a somber and sad face, he was so sad that his tears were dripping from his eyes, 
and I saw that his tears has turned to blood, when this tears was about to touch the earth, I saw the heaven shutting down, when the heaven was shut, I felt a power over me, and I began to shout in the street and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, repent, Jesus is coming back, then I saw like a stadium full of people, I saw that these people were shadow, I mean they were black shadow not flesh, then I saw a light that was scanning the stadium, when the light scanned the crowds, I saw that only a handful of them had white garment, I mean, in a crowds of a thousand, only one that was in white garment, it was alarming, I was shouting to these people to come back to Jesus for the return of the Lord is imminent, but no one care about me, everybody was preoccupied with his problem and occupation, I was crying for the whole world will not listen as if they were like asleep, when I woke up I was in tears, I said Lord what is this, the Lord said the end of time, when I heard that word I felt like the whole world crumble before me, I said Lord have mercy we are not ready, I said Lord I hear stories of the rapture, I watch a visit of heaven and hell, I need confirmation that these encounters are real, if you don't want to show me, at least show my brother and sister, for I am hearing these testimony from westerner and people of Ivory Coast and Congo, three week later, a sister that was talking to me about his deliverance from worldly adornment came to see me, I saw that my sister Jacqueline was shaking and she seemed troubled, she told me my sister I am finished, I saw terrible things, I was breastfeeding my five month baby, when suddenly I fell asleep, I don't know precisely when I fell asleep, but when it happened I was already in a vision, where I saw that everybody in our neighborhood was running in panic all over the place, there was cries and lamentation coming from everywhere, I could not understand what was happening but for everybody was in agitation and trepidation, quickly I went to check my baby in the room, I took my son and he was in my hand, when suddenly he disappeared, I shouted the name of my sister Gracer and went to her room to check whether she was taken, when I got there, I saw before my eyes her daughter disappearing, it was terrifying, and I began to run in dismay, I wonder has my sister also gone with her children, when I went out I saw my sister arriving with her children, I told her, you did not make it to the rapture, she said I have not made it, I am left behind with the children, we decided to go to church to check who has gone in the rapture and who was left behind, when we got to church it was painful for the whole church was left behind, except a one year old and a two year old child, I saw the pastor and his wife and the whole church and they were left behind, I cried and I said Lord, nobody in our church has made it to the rapture, only the children, what is happening, suddenly the spirit took me to the cemetery, where I saw grave that were opening. I saw the deads coming out in a whirlwind, they were dressed in pure and shining white, I saw them rising to the sky, where there were movement of people rising to the sky all over the world, at some point I saw a staircase of light that was surrounded by a whirlwind, the staircase of heaven was suspended in the sky, and it went up to the heaven, the staircase was so shiny so beautiful and scintillating, I saw the saint that have cleaned up their garment climbing the stairs of light leading to eternity, However, while I saw the saint going to heaven, the Lord showed me a wide road very vast, where millions were moving forward, among the countless of souls in the wide road, they were a group of people and I wonder who these people were, the angel came and told me these are people who call themselves followers of Christ, some of them have abandoned worldly adornment and make up, yet their heart is wicked and full of hypocrisy, their heart is not pure, that is why they were in this wide way leading to damnation. Then I heard a song that our mother used to sing, that said between the wide road and the narrow road which road are you lending to go to the paradise of God? Choose the narrow road that lead to the paradise of God, I remember that song that my mother used to sing and quickly I went to check if my mother was rapture, but she was left behind, this dream from sister Jacqueline was the first confirmation the Lord gave me about the rapture, days later, another sister came to me. She could not go to church for she was troubled by a vision she saw, to the point she could not go to church, she lost the motivation to live, I said my sister what is wrong? Please tell me, she said, when people talk about hell and the fire of hell, I never knew that this was a massive hole of fire, I fell asleep and I saw myself before two ways, there was a little road and massive road, when I look at the wide road, I saw they they were throwing men and women, 
teenagers and senior in the huge pit of fire, countless men and women were thrown into the flames of fire the way people drop corn grain into the funnel of the grinding machine, while these souls were cast in the hole of fire I heard a scary and horrendous noise that was vibrating, this scary noise was combined with the cries, scream and lamentation of countless souls that were falling in the pit of fire like sand, when I saw this scene I was trouble, and when I looked at the other road that was little, I saw nobody except the guard that was standing there, I wanted to lend that road I saw the guard telling me it is not your time yet, then I woke up, my brothers just imagine countless of men and women thrown in the fire alive, let us repent and save our souls, I was in prayer when I was transported to the crossroad in out neighborhood, where I saw a demon, he looked like a scorpion, he was ugly and scary, his upper part was red and lower part was black, this demon stood at the crossroad when people were leaving the church meeting, the demon was beating his chest and saying I am the demon of sexual impurity, the spirit told me look carefully, this demon is called Wilfried, I saw his genital that was a snake coming out against those who came out of churches in the street to swallow them, when suddenly the demon was struck by a sword that was launched by a believer, this sword entered the head of the scorpion demon and he screamed, then I saw the sword coming out his head and returning to this saint that launched it, this believer sent this sword again against the demon scorpion, I saw the sword of the spirit entering the demon of sexual impurity that fell to the ground and disappeared. I saw that I had the sword of the spirit, I said Lord what is the meaning of this, then I fell asleep again, I saw like a screen before me, on the screen it was written, Zephaniah chapter 1, and I woke up, I was supposed to read it, I said Lord I am tired, I will read it later, when I was resting I saw the screen and it was written Zephaniah 2, where the Lord was warning about sexual immorality, the spirit woke up to get the Bible, but I heard another voice telling me, you are tired, just rest for you are cold and tired, the satanic spirit did not want me to read what the Lord was telling, since I had my phone I opened in Zephaniah 1 verse 2, I will sweep away everything from the face of the earth, declares the Lord, I will sweep away both man and beast, I will sweep away the birds in the sky and the fish in the sea, and the idols that caused the wicked to stumble, when I destroy all mankind on the face of the earth declares the Lord, when I read this as I was filled with sadness, I said Lord I don't want to go to hell, I don't want to be the tares that will be burned in eternal fire, I want to be the wheat, the spirit was talking to me about the tares and the wheat, the spirit was teaching me about the fate of the tares and wheat, he said, see by yourself when a laborer go to his plantation for harvest, when he gather the fruit of the harvest, he burn the chaff, but will the fire remain forever, I said it is normal that the fire go off after burning, there is no fire that stay forever on the earth, the spirit said, did you notice when John was talking about the Messiah, he said, his winnowing fork is in his hand to clear his threshing floor and to gather his wheat into the barn, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire, what shocked me is when the spirit of God underlined that he will burn the chaff in an unquenchable fire, the spirit said this passage does not speak of chaff or leaf, but men and women that will burn forever in the fire and I have a message to my sisters to conclude the testimony, don't just hear the word, you must learn to kneel down in prayer, and ask the Lord like me, tell him Lord what am I supposed to do to please you, and to make it to heaven, after all the eternal habitation is heaven, seek first the kingdom of God, many are running after the vain thing of the world like makeup, they want to be beautiful, you must seek the depth, the intimacy with the spirit in prayer at home, the Lord is asking us purity, sanctification and the fear of the Lord. The Lord can show you the way.